consider rogue waves. For generations, they were dismissed as sailor lore. Then, on New Year's Day, 1995, the Dropner oil platform in the North Sea directly measured a 25-meter wall of water. Later, satellite altimeters and other observations surveyed the oceans and confirmed that rogue waves are real, occurring more often than classical linear models predicted. That confirmation helped drive updates to design criteria and routing models, and the physics didn't change overnight. Our knowledge did, and that shift moved lives from the column labeled luck into the column labeled plan. But here's the twist. At sea, you're still cradled by Earth. Gravity holds you. Air is breathable. Rescue is possible. When you leave the planet, you give up those three assumptions. Space replaces water with vacuum, wind with radiation, white caps with micrometeoroids moving faster than bullets. So the same question returns with higher stakes. Can our understanding outrun the indifference of nature? Space has storms, too. The sun hurls coronal mass ejections that shove charged particles across the solar system. When those arrive, they compress Earth's magnetic field, induce currents in power grids. We saw this in 1989 when Quebec lost electricity, and they bathe spacecraft in radiation. Astronauts do not have the luxury of outrunning a solar storm, so we pre-compute. We place radiation monitors on satellites and tie them to alerts. We design spacecraft with Whipple 